Hey guys, Tim with Little Crow Gunworks here, just doing a little quick impromptu video. I'm going to apologize in advance for the lack of uh, quality in this video. I'm just, I was doing something for my own personal use and I thought you guys might find it interesting. So, um, we're getting ready to go on our first prairie dog trip of the year and trying to get guns ready and stuff. And one of the guns that I'm bringing with is a Factory Savage Model 12 Long Range Precision and 243 Winchester. And it's a gun I bought a long time ago, and uh, the barrel has almost 2,000 rounds on it. So it's uh, nearing the end of its useful life. It's a uh, heavy one inch at the muzzle chrome molly barrel, um, but it's nearing the end. So, what I've gotten the habit of doing is I have uh, 200 pieces of brass. I thought this barrel was going to die a few years ago, but it didn't die, so it just won't die. So, I bought another 200 pieces of brass. These happen to be Federal head stamp. Um, that I have married to this barrel. So what I'll do is I'll go out, shoot them all prairie dogs, come back, and then load them all, process them all, get the brass prepped, load them all up with the load that I was using the year prior, but I'll load all of them 50 thousandths long and leave them sit because I'm gonna test some. So what I'll do is I'll take three loads that are three thousandths shorter seating depth than what I used last year, I'll load three rounds at the seating depth I used last year, three at three longer, six longer, nine longer, 12 longer, 15 longer. So that's what this is. The load I used last year was 2.255. You see it there near the bottom. And then I did three longer. This is all based to Ojive, which is the only way I measure loaded ammo because uh, it's more consistent. Um, so that's what I went and tested. So what I'll do is I'll process them all, load those, and then I go shoot them and I see if what I was using is still shooting well or if because the throat is eroding away because this barrel's almost toast if now all of a sudden something else wants to shoot so you can do this for tuning ammo regardless of where your barrel is at in its life you can tune a load just by playing with seating depth I tell some of our clients this at, at the shop at Little Crow Gunworks and some of them you know who you are <laughs> they look at me like I'm out of my mind but it works so I'm going to show you this so this was uh, 2.252 that's 3,000 shorter than what I shot last year and when the first two shots are an inch apart I don't bother wasting the third shot especially when it's all vertical like that this is what I shot last year almost no vertical but an inch of horizontal that's not going to cut it that's three thousandths longer than what I shot last year six longer Ooh, we're getting somewhere sub MOA not great but sub MOA nine longer twelve longer hmm isn't that something that's a quarter inch group maybe maybe less all I did was change seating depth nothing else so that was 12 longer this is 15 longer this was the cold bore shot when I first got to the range and then I shot one shot here one there one there one there and worked my way down the paper and then I came back up shot another round another round another round another round and if they showed promise then I shot the third round boom 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 so I did it round robin style and Mm. I guess this barrel gets to make it one more year. <laughs> so anyways, I uh, just thought you guys would find that interesting. If you have an old load that used to shoot, shoot great and doesn't shoot well anymore, uh, do what I did. Take the same thing you've been using, load 3 thousandths longer, 6, 9, 12, 15, and go test them. You know, a lot of guys like to test in much bigger seating depth increments, and you could do that, and you might stumble onto a load, but from all the stuff I've watched and interviews I've seen of you know professional world-class shooters Hall of Fame shooters they all seem to say that seating depths like accuracy de accuracy nodes are only like six to nine thousandths wide so if they're six to nine thousandths wide and you're going in ten or twenty thousandths increments you're jumping over a lot of good loads you know some of the bench rest guys they test in two thousandths increments and I, I do three, and it seems to work. But um, So, yeah, if you have a load that's not working anymore like it used to, try that. See if it helps you out. But I just wanted to throw that up here. I thought you guys would find that interesting. So 
Uh, it's uh, I think I'm going to start a new category, just little precision nuggets. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but just little short videos like this that of stuff that I'm doing that I don't think it's interesting anymore because I've been doing it so long, but you guys might. Um, so anyway, thought you'd find that interesting. We'll see you guys in the next video.